we start, you just tell me a little bit about Costello, where you're at, how many agents, all that kind of stuff. Just tell me a bit about the brokerage. Sure. Um, so Costello was founded by a husband and wife, John and Natalie, um, about almost nine years ago now. Um, and they just really, their mission was to be um, different, you know, in the sense that they didn't want to have fees that they charge regularly to agents. They don't charge a desk fee. There's no printer fee. Um, so they, they wanted to be different than the usual brokerage in the sense that they wanted the agent to feel empowered and um, they, they really wanted to invest in the agent and, and sort of help them grow their own business and develop themselves as a business. Yeah, okay, cool. Did they have a background as agents? Yeah, so Natalie was an agent. Um, John has his license, but he, he never really did any deals himself. Um, yeah. But Natalie was an agent, she was doing flips. I think that they were kind of enjoying it as a couple. And um, the brokerage that Natalie was at, she didn't really care for it. She felt like they sort of took advantage of her as an agent. And so they decided to start Costello with that in mind to sort of be different than that. Well, they've done something right because uh, you guys are pretty significant in size now, right? How many agents do you have? Yeah, we have about 350 across three offices. So one in Raleigh, one in Charlotte, and one in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a busy office. So tell me a yes. little bit. I know that, um, so you weren't at the brokerage at the time they decided to go with Loft. Um, but tell me a little bit about your experience. Maybe before that, have you worked with other back office solutions or anything like that? Or just tell me about that experience coming to the brokerage. Sure. So I have an accounting degree, but I was a touring musician for 13 years before joining Costello. So um, I hadn't really worked like a corporate job or worked in the accounting field until now. Um, so when I came on to Costello, they had just gotten Law 47 and Zero for their accounting softwares. So it was sort of my job to learn the software and implement it and make it all work seamlessly for them. Okay, were they struggling with anything in particular? What were they using before? Do you remember? They had Broker Wolf, I believe. Okay. Um, and they just felt like it. they weren't able to get the reporting that they wanted. Uh, the way that it processed deals was kind of clunky. We have a revenue share program, so we give back 25% of the split fee that we take to wh whoever recruited the agent that closed the deal. So, yeah. um, that just looked really clunky and, and didn't work very well. Uh, and Law 47 was recommended to John Costello by another friend of his, Eric Pearson, who has a brokerage in like the Northern Virginia, DC area. Okay, fair. Okay, so they're wanting to just get something less clunky. I, I do hear that. And then how did it go? How did you, how was it getting started, getting set up? How did that experience go? Um, I, I would say it was great, honestly. Um, I worked closely with Paul and Iona, I think, yeah. right? Well, no, um, yeah. I worked I worked closely with them and uh, everything worked really well. Anytime I had an issue, they had a solution for me. Um, the revenue share was super easy to navigate. Any other deduction was easy to navigate. Um, we have a scaling transaction fee. That was no problem. So like anything that we had to, to do wasn't an obstacle with Loft where it was with Broker Wolf. Awesome. Yeah. And you guys have some unique stuff going on there. So I can see that, but you as an accountant, like tell me about the accounting stuff. Was that helpful? Was it more complicated? I guess you didn't work in Broker Wolf, so it might be a little hard, but how is the accounting part of that experience for you? Um, in terms of like accounts payable and accounts receivable management, uh, I think it's pretty easy to navigate. Um, you know, it's, it's not rocket science. So I think, uh, I think law 47 made that super easy to handle and, uh, made me look good, honestly. Okay. That's good. That's what we want. Zach. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's what we want. Okay. What do you think the impact is of having a system that's maybe not as clunky? You know, it did seem to fit into your workflow pretty easily. What do you think the impact is on the business? Well, one, they never really had a good window into like the state of the business, right? They didn't know 
how their revenue looked, what they were bringing in, what amount of deals they were closing, what their average um, sales price was. You know, they didn't have any of that data before. And once I was there with Law 47, I was able to give them, you know, um, some solid reporting that, that gave them the ability to really see what the business was doing and how it was performing. Yeah, that's awesome. It's funny. I do think that BrokerWolf has a ton of reports, um, but I just think it's so uh, complicated in there that you can't easily extract it, you know? So yeah. I do understand that. Yeah. Yeah. I There's have some reports from Broker Wolf and they're very hard to read and very hard to follow. Yeah, because I think like so many people request features like that or like I want a specific report, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything to somebody else. So I right. think I also use Broker Wolf. I implemented it for a 2000 agent office. And okay. I think that was the point was just like it was so clunky. We had little like how to things of like go to menu item this go to menu item this uh right just to get the deal done so i do feel for them there um so a lot of this is about the background of why pull the trigger or whatnot so maybe i don't know maybe just tell me kind of what the best feature is what like what makes your day better um i would just say it's easy to set up agent profiles easy to put in the the right deductions um it's easy to track their their split fees that they pay towards their cap in an anniversary year you know it takes it takes a lot of the grunt work and a lot of the thinking out of it so i you, think that's the best thing okay and do you have your agents logging in we give them access to loft i'm not sure if they're really utilizing it the best that they could right with the features like setting their goals and kind of tracking how they're performing throughout the year. I don't know if they're really utilizing that or not, but okay. um, I, I will say the new dashboard that is there now is um, is really easy to read and really nice, looks clean. Uh, and I, I like that a lot. Yeah, I do see some of your agents logging in for sure. I just wondered if it's saving you any time because if they can self-serve their data, that was the point. Like. If they can yeah. go and get their 1099s, if they can go and do that stuff, but I don't know if everybody does. So, no, and we used um, we used Track 1099 to send those out digitally. Um, oh, okay. Just just because some agents get paid um, other other bills from zero that aren't related to uh, a, a real estate transaction. So, yeah. Okay. Would you recommend us? Absolutely. No question about it. Your scale of one to 10? 11. Awesome. Uh, thank you. That makes us very happy. Um, yeah, absolutely. And uh, if anybody, if you could recommend anything, you know, somebody who's struggling the same way that maybe Costello was with growth or with process, you know, what would you tell them or what would you say in terms of how Loft might help them out? Um, I would say if a brokerage is looking to scale and to expand into multiple markets and have a high number of agents uh, and they have any kind of complex or simple deduction or fee structure, I guess, um, Law 47 will take take the legwork out of it and make it easy for them to navigate. 